all right so back with another video about a problem that i think every shopify developer will have sooner or later and that is the invalid session token if you don't know what i'm talking about i will show you a an example right here so um i've got my app right here and it's this getting started page that you need for uh the ux uh requirement for every shopify app and this uh, page should show you which theme is installed and if that theme has a uh, theme app blocks installed or not. So in order to find that out, I created a controller in my Laravel backend, which will check uh, which theme there is and if that theme has a an app block enabled or not. And then it will return true or false. And um, th that app is supposed to um, show if app blocks are installed or not, right? But I have an error right here, a 4400 error, and it says session token is invalid, right? And in this video, I wanna show you how easy it actually is to, to solve this problem. And um, before we jump in, I want to tell you that I'm thinking about uh, making a tutorial on how to create this app right here. It's a very, very simple app. It's just an app that um, will display or animate the buy button in the, um, in the Shopify uh, storefront. And it's really nothing that much of a deal, but I think if I make a tutorial or a course about this, um, about this app, you will learn a lot. So if you're interested in it, in it then uh, write it in the comments and I will start to make a course on um, Shopify app development, right? So now to the problem. The problem that we're having is um, this invalid session token and we will get this session token uh, from Shopify app bridge. You can see it right here. It's a method that you can import from uh, Shopify app bridge. So you will have to make sure that you have this NPM package uh, app bridge installed. And if you have that installed, then we can check out how to solve that problem. So let's jump to VS code. All right, so you can see my request right here. It's just a regular get request from Axios. And in this request, um, I will make a call to the uh, controller, which will then find out if the app blocks are enabled or not. And then it's going to return the theme name. And it's also going to return if the app blocks are enabled or not, or else it's going to return an error, right? So very basic. Uh, things are going on right here and now I want to show you how you can add an interceptor to this call right here so the first thing that you will have to make sure is that you will create an instance of your app from AppBridge and you're going to do that by saying const app and say use AppBridge right so now you have created an instance of your app we're going to need that later the next thing that we will do is we're going to create an instance of axios because we will need that instance to add an interceptor to that right so we're going to say const instance axios create we're here now we want to intercept all requests on this Axios instance. And we're going to do that by taking our instance, saying interceptors request use. And we're going to give it a function, which is going to take the config. And in here, we want to return get session token. And make sure to import this method get session token from the AppBridge utils package, right? 
and this get session token will need a an app as a para parameter right so that will be a promise and then we're going to say then and we're going to get that token now the next thing that we want to do is we want to take that token and add it to our request headers right so we're going to say config headers and add this as a bearer token and we're going to use those template literals to get this token to add this token to our config headers right and now we can return our config okay so now we don't want to make a get request with a simple axios instance but we want to create this get request with this instance that we have added our interceptors to right so now we're going to copy this and say instance I'm gonna save it and I need to make sure that I'm going to say npm run watch all right so now it has compiled successfully and I will go back to my app and reload it and this time I can see that I will get all of my um, all of my data and the request has successfully worked right so it was a very small change just adding this interceptor but you will have to know that you will need this get session token and you would also need to know that you will have to create this instance of your app from your app bridge from this um, use app bridge custom hook right but everything is there and um, yeah, I hope this worked out for you and I hope this saved you a little bit of headache. And if it did, then please click the like and subscribe and see you next time. Bye bye.